Electron microscopes use electrons to probe a sample. Electron microscopes are useful for studying samples in the size range of 10 nanometers to 100 micrometers. This includes specimens as small as ribosomes up to specimens as large as red blood cells. Transmission electron microscopes, such as the one shown here, are used to produce two-dimensional images of internal structures of cells, while scanning electron microscopes are used to produce three-dimensional images of the surface of specimens. Electron-dense compounds, such as heavy metal salts, can be used to stain specimens for electron microscopy, increasing the contrast and resolution. Let's look at the parts of a transmission electron microscope to see how a specimen is magnified and viewed. The electron gun initiates a beam of electrons. This beam is divergent, spreading out, as it approaches the condenser lens. The condenser lens gathers the beam of electrons and focuses it so that it converges on the specimen with high intensity in a small area. The condenser lens in an electron microscope is electromagnetic. The electron beam next passes through the specimen. In a transmission electron microscope, the specimen is a tiny slice of cells that rests on an equally tiny copper grid. This grid is inserted into the microscope at the location shown here. When the electrons interact with the sample, they are either reflected and refracted or absorbed by the sample. The beam then continues to diverge downward on its path away from the specimen. After the beam leaves the specimen, it passes through the objective lens. The objective lens performs the bulk of the magnification of the specimen. The projector lens receives the electron beam from the objective lens and refocuses it to recreate the image that the viewer sees in the fluorescent screen. An internal camera is used to photograph the specimen. You may have noticed that these two types of microscopes share similar parts. Both have a source of light or electrons, a condenser lens to focus this source, and an objective lens to refocus the image. However, you may also have noticed that the path of light is from bottom to top in the light microscope, while the path of electrons is from top to bottom in the electron microscope. All types of microscopy are concerned with resolution. The resolution of an image is the ability to distinguish between objects that are close together. Resolution depends on the wavelength of the source, with smaller wavelengths leading to higher resolution. The average wavelength of white light is 550 nanometers, while the wavelength of electrons in the electron microscope is 0.01 nanometers. This is why electron microscopes are able to resolve objects much smaller than light microscopes.